Hey guys, Tuesday weigh-in day. This is take two. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just about to upload my update that I did this morning, and my tr nutritionist called me. So she was supposed to call me on Friday, and she didn't. But I guess uh, she got busy, so she called me today. So I was I was grateful for that. Um, so I had lost. Well, let's start in. Let's just let's just start in with. I weigh in, and then I'll talk about my my chat with nutritionist. Um, I weighed in at 172.5 this morning, so that is a 0.5 gain, and that's good. I'm kind of happy about that because it um, means I'm getting close to that stabilization of my weight, and I've been about 2,000 calories again this week, and I didn't and I gained 0.5 pounds, whereas last week I was at 2,000 calories and I lost like 2.4 pounds or something like that. So I'm, I'm getting close. I'm kind of honing in on that on that level. That's good for me. Um, and, uh, and that's okay. You know, 0.5 gain is not a lot. And I really need to get into the mindset since I'm sort of more focused on gaining muscle mass now and you know strengthening my back and you know filling out my arms um, a bit and, and stuff like that. I really need to get into this mindset where it's okay to gain weight over a period so that I'm gaining I mean I have to have some excess calories to build that muscle and then you know you the, the, the research that I've done on people who are trying to build muscle is that they go through like a bulking phase for a period and they'll put on five or ten pounds and then they'll go into a cutting phase where they reduce the calories so they start losing weight again and maybe they'll lose like 80% of that and mostly muscle um, I mostly fat that they lose so they kind of go through these cycles and I'm going to have to be comfortable with that because it's something I want to do. So, um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So my nutritionist, um, it's been about a month since I saw her last and I had lost, I've lost eight pounds, a little over eight pounds in that month. Um, you know, half of that time I was at a 2000 calorie limit, half the time I was lower than that. Um, but she thinks I still need to up my calories at least to 2,600 um, based on the activity and the way I've been losing. Um, so it's kind of a daunting task, but um, you know, I'm going to work at it. I, I've made some decisions this week that, you know, well, I made sort of two decisions. Um, one is that I'm not going to restrict my activity um, if I want to do it. I'm not going to feel pressured to do it, especially like my treadmill days when I'm not in the gym. But if I want to do an hour on the treadmill while I'm watching some show on TV, then I'm going to do an hour because that's what I'd like to do and it feels good after. It feels good during even. so. I'm not going to not do that because that's why I lost weight because I wanted to do activity. So I made a decision that I'm just I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to get into this head game thing that I was in earlier this week where maybe I shouldn't work out and because I couldn't get in enough calories to make up for it and blah 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 blah. Just driving myself completely nuts doing that. So I'm just going to do I'm just going to take Zen's advice. Oh jeez, I just realized that um I'm coming over my mic, and that's what I did in the last time I tried to do this, and the sound was horrible. So let's see if I can reposition this a little bit there. Um, yeah, I took Zen's advice. Actually, but a bunch of people gave me advice on my last video or last two videos, and I really appreciate it. It was it was all really kind of helpful. But Zen mentioned to me she's like, I think it was on Facebook or something. She's like, just put down some of the baggage and. You know, do what feels right, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm not gonna restrict my activity because it's just stupid. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna apologize in advance for this nice yellow T-shirt because yellow is such a great color on me. 
Um, but whatever, I was feeling a little warm here. I got the heat turned up, so I'm t-shirt only right now. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to restrict my activity. And the other thing that's kind of happened to me this week is that I've really been ugh, eating so much food the past, like, month, pretty much. I mean, I'm, I'm up to having two breakfast meals, and then, you know, I'll have two snacks in the afternoon. And, you know, on top of that, I have my, my lunch and my dinner and a nighttime snack. So I just feel like I was eating all the time. And it was making me tired after I ate, you know, uh, and it just didn't, it just doesn't seem right to do that. I shouldn't be forcing myself to eat to the point where it's taxing for me, like, mentally, physically, and time-wise. I mean, it's just, it's stupid. <laughs> so, I made the decision that when I'm looking for those extra calories... I'm going to go back to shakes, you know, I'm going to be having one to two shakes every day um, in place of those double snacks or double meals uh, that I've been doing because I can still pretty much have a shake and then like a few minutes later I can have a snack and it doesn't, it doesn't seem to bother me as much as having, you know, two major sized snacks or meals. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm sort of researching into what kind of shakes to have because I definitely want to get some that are more geared towards muscle gaining and fitness. And, um, I found a couple brands that are available here in Canada and I wrote to them asking for samples and I haven't gotten a reply back, so maybe they just don't do samples. <laughs> They certainly don't offer any on their websites, so that's kind of discouraging. But basically, I'm looking for just a, a protein powder. It can be pure isolate, or it can be isolate concentrate uh, mix. Um, but it's got to have like additional amino acids in it, and additional supplements for helping with that muscle gain. So, um, the one that actually they have at my gym... And also, Mary sent me a couple of samples that she had, uh, was, I think it's called Perfect Nutrition Diesel, and they have another um, protein mix that they have there as well. Um, so I'm looking at those, and that's probably what I'll get, but if anyone has any recommendations of some good flavors and, and protein powders that have those extra things added in, you know, let me know so I can research and see if I can find them around here. Um, yeah, so I've been doing the shake thing. I'm starting first thing in the morning, I have a shake, like um, basically a milkshake. Like I'll have milk and I'll add some frozen, frozen fruit to it, uh, blend that all up good, and then I'll add some, uh, some protein powder to it, just plain protein powder. Um, and I have that first thing in the morning. I have that before my water, before my pills, before my coffee. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to delay that because I don't want to lose any muscle mass that I've, you know, from not eating for ten plus hours uh, during the night. Um, I definitely. Like, I don't want to. Basically, what I have been doing is like, you know, I wake up in the morning, have my water, my coffee, and then I'll look at having a meal. But that puts me like an hour or two after I wake up, so that's extending that not time that I'm not fueling my body by quite a bit. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to be more diligent about first thing in the morning having the protein, and then I'll worry about the water and whatnot. And also with my workouts, I'm, I was doing the same thing. Like I'd have my workout, I'd be drinking during my workout, but then after my workout, I'd, I'd want to have a glass of of water before I go to my protein, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm just gonna, like, after my workout, I have my protein shake, like, right away. Like, I'm not gonna wait, um, because that is the best time to have it. So, that means that I'll probably be drinking <laughs> relatively soon after I've had those protein shakes, but whatever. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's not like it's staying in my stomach very long, it's not like I need it. To be, to feel full. I don't need to feel full. 
I don't feel full ever. I mean, I don't want to ever feel full, so that's fine by me. I mean, it's still going to get digested. I mean, you, the digestion doesn't happen in your stomach. It happens in your intestines, so it's, it's, it's going to be in there for a while, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, so those are the two decisions that I made on my own, and then my nutritionist called today, and she's like, need to up the calories to 2,600. And I was like, ugh, how am I going to do that? And she really, she must have said it a hundred times. Honestly, she was just like, carbs are not your enemy. And I'm like, even the bad carbs? <laughs> like the rice and the potatoes and the pasta? And she's like, no, they're fine. You, you need to just incorporate them, but keep, keep the portions reasonable, um, they're not your enemy, you know, it's, and it's really hard to get that mentality in where they're not your enemy, yes, they're your enemy, like, if you're going to an Italian restaurant, and you're having, you know, a pasta dish, and you're having bread on the side, and then you're having a dessert after it, I mean, that's like carb on top of carb on top of carb, but having a little bit of carb every meal is fine, so I'm gonna work on that, you know, I think what I'm going to do is just, you know, get some potatoes. You know, I like the red skin potatoes. And I'm just going to boil them up and keep them in the fridge. And every meal I'll have a little potato. You know? I asked her about what kind of carb loading I should be doing for the day. She's like, you need to get up over 300 grams of carbs a day based on my activity level. And I'm, you know, barely getting up to 200 grams of carbs a day, so she's like, you really need to get up there <laughs> and force those carbs in, whatever, you know, as long as they're not, like, pure sugar, and they're not, like, you know, it, it's fine, carbs are okay, <laughs> and it's really hard to get that through my head, but, I mean, I know it logically, but it's just, there's that worry that we all have, you know, getting carb heavy or if it's starting to cause cravings or it becomes, you know, uncontrollable at some point where you have too many. Um, I dropped my phone and it turned off. So yeah, I'm going to have to do some editing on YouTube and it's going to be, it's going to suck. It's just going to suck. I hate it takes like hours and hours to put two videos together. <laughs> but um, anyway, yes, going to try and up my calories and my carbs. And it's going to be tough, but I think those shakes are really going to help me out. So I'm going to look at all of the bodybuilding shakes and not necessarily ones that are low carb. I don't need that restriction anymore. So yeah, I don't have to worry about... Um, her meal carbs, even she said, you know, if I have hundred, do I have some meal that has a hundred grams of carbs? If I need that hundred grams of carbs to get my calories in, then that's what I should be doing. My focus should be on the calories. I mean, obviously, I still have to get in my protein and you know make sure I'm getting those healthy fats in and all that. But if I need a hundred grams of carbs to get my calories, I have a hundred grams of carbs to get my calories. So. It's going to be an adjustment, it's a mental struggle to do that, but I'm going to work on it. Um, yeah, so what else has happened this week? Not a lot. Um, it's been pretty quiet, it's been cold, and we had some snow, and blah blah blah, and winter, and I'm sick of it, and summer needs to come here soon so I can get outside. But I haven't even been outside to walk for months now, because it's there's just been ice everywhere, and I... I'm still too paranoid about falling down because it can cause me an injury pretty quick. Um, so I'm really anxious for that. And if it would just happen soon, that'd be great. <clears throat> Other than that, um, I've really been making an attempt at the gym to be more social. I mean, I've been taking out my headphones and trying to engage with people, you know, asking them what they're doing and kind of workouts they're doing and all these kind of things. 
was trying to engage them, and I've just been absolutely failing at it. Like, I, I mean, I guess I understand it because people are there to work out. They're not there to chat. And when I look around, I don't see a lot of people like just chatting with with each other. So I guess that's just kind of the way it is. Um, and the girls who I generally connect better with as friends anyway, um, they show no interest in talking to me, like, none at all. Um, I guess they're worried that I'm trying to pick them up or something. I don't know. And they want to give that signal that's like, no, leave me alone. Um, so... Oh well, that's kind of the way it is. It's the gym. I mean, for me, it's the only place where there's other people to socialize with, so it kind of, kind of sucks for me. My hand's falling asleep. Um, but, c'est la vie. Anyway, this week, 0.5 gain. Um, I'm okay with that. I know exactly where that 0.5 pounds is. It is all in my arms. My arms are getting, I mean... This, but my my muscles are just getting more rounded and full and um, it's not just like my main biceps that are growing it's like all those sort of accessory little muscles are starting to be more prominent and everything's just getting more full and more rounded and I like it so it's good and I still my arms are still kind of saggy so I got room to pack on some more muscles, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> that is my goal. Um, anyway, so I'll let you guys go, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.